VoiceSync uses local AI models to transcribe what you say to text almost instantly. Since everything happens locally, no data will leave your device unless you opt in for AI enhancement. And the best of all, VoiceSync is also open source. It works across all of your apps so you can use your voice to write anywhere and in any applications. From writing emails to vibe coding to any task that involves typing, you can completely replace it with VoiceSync. Let's talk about the major features of VoiceSync. It uses local AI models to transcribe with near perfect accuracy and for most of the languages, the popular languages like English, Spanish, German or Chinese, it is very accurate and there are tons of other languages that are supported but they are slightly less accurate than those popular languages. And since all the processing happens locally, no data leaves your device, you can use global shortcut key, you can use the push to talk key as well in order to record. Also, you can switch between different modes by using keyboard shortcuts such as right now you can see here I'm using VoiceSync to record and you can just press the shortcut to switch between different modes like this and it's pretty fast. And then we have the personal dictionary feature where you can train the AI to recognize certain words or certain vocabulary like you can uh, say it, if it does not get certain names right then you can add it to the dictionary and the next time you uh, use that word it will accurately recognize it also we have a smart replacement feature where you can replace certain words by a replacement text for example you can create a pair to replace my email address text with your actual email address and when you have ai enhancement turned on it will automatically replace that particular text with your email address then we have one of the most important feature that is context aware feature Context aware feature will automatically detect what you are working with right now, uh, what is currently on your screen to improve the accuracy of the application. Also remember that the context awareness feature is only used when you are actually starting to record and it does not send any of your data to the outside server. All of the processing happens locally. Unless you opt in for AI enhancement for which you will need to use API keys from the pro given providers. Then we have assistant mode which will allow you to use VoiceSync as a conversational assistant. Let me show you a quick demo. In the AI enhancement after you have uh, added the API key, here you can change the trigger word. The trigger word is the first word that you will start your recording with. If you start your recording with chat right now, instead of transcribing, it will act as a conversational assistant like chat, GPT, cloud, Gemini or anything else. So it will just answer your question or send a reply to your a query then we have smart modes feature which will allow you to use voicing in different contexts and in different styles for example you can create a mode for email or you can use our tweet mode or chat mode you can add as many modes as possible for writing in different styles and different contexts so i'll just enable the app and you can see here currently we have this meeting mode you can switch between these different modes so that the formatting of your transcription switches to a different mode. You can see the example here, the chat will look like this, tweet format will look like this, email will look like this with a proper greeting and proper sign off and the default mode will just uh, enhance the transcription without any different writing style. Then we have the power mode feature which is one of the most important feature of VoiceSync. The power mode feature will allow the app to determine what you are working with. Like let's say if you are working with Arc browser, you can set a different configuration for Arc browser. You can set a different configuration for Discord. You can set a different configuration for Slack and it will automatically detect what app you are using. And if you have set a pre-configured setting for that particular app, it will use that setting. And it not only works with apps, but also with URL. So if you are working with email and you have set the email mode, it will automatically apply the email mode. If you are writing on medium, it will automatically switch to the writing mode. If you are on the Slack website, it will automatically switch to the Slack mode if you have created it. If we talk about the pricing, the pricing is simple. You buy once and own the app forever with a lifetime support and continuous developments. You can uh, buy the app for $19 which will work on one device. If you have multiple devices, you can buy the extended license. But if you are a small team and want to use VoiceSync, you can switch to a small team plan, which is perfect for small startups and it will work on up to 10 devices. But if you have a larger team, you can definitely contact for the custom pricing. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting me uh, in my journey with VoiceSync. I hope you have a great time. See you again. Bye.